Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you our grocery haul. What kind of foods do we have in our fridge and in our pantry right now? So yesterday we went to the market and we got a whole load of amazing fresh fruits and vegetables. And I thought it would actually be a great opportunity to show you what kind of fruits and vegetables we buy while we're here in Chiang Mai. So it's really, really important wherever you're living to, as much as you can, buy organic, um, buy local. If you're buying within your country and you're buying within season, I think that's really, really important for the world. It's important for your health. So when, wherever we're living in the world, we've lived in many different countries, we always try to buy in season. We buy organic as much as possible. However, here I noticed buying organic, it just isn't possible. Living in Chiang Mai, we don't stress about organic, but we stress about eating in season and we stress about buying locally. So. Uh, within the area, within the country. So these are the fruits and vegetables that we buy while we're living in Thailand. Okay, so I'm going to start off by showing you what we have on the floor here. So whatever we've laid out on the floor here, um, it was either because A, we didn't have enough room in the cabinets for it or the fridge, um, and B, we wanted to lay it on the floor next to the sun to help it ripen quicker and better. So. Um, these bananas you see here, these ones we had got the previous week, the first week that we actually arrived in Chiang Mai. Um, and each week we buy a new bundle, typically a little bit smaller than this one here. This one's quite a big one, um, but this is what we have between us throughout the week. So, you know, as this one's ripening, we'll be eating and freezing these ones. So this is kind of the area that we put the little Thai bananas. This bag here is a whole bag of cucumbers. Um, we're doing a lot of juicing for cucumbers because sadly we cannot find celery here as of right now. I don't know if it's something that they don't have in season right now or if it's just something they don't usually have at all. So we're focusing on some cucumber juice and apple juice and greens juices and things like that. Here's a whole 10 kilo bag of these beautiful, delicious, um, forgot what they're called. I think they're called Hannah sweet potatoes. They're the white sweet potatoes. They are very, very dense and super, super sweet and filling. Okay, so underneath this little bench here, we have a couple watermelons. We had one each and I had um, three papayas for breakfast this morning, so they're missing, but I got a whole load of beautiful, beautiful, beautiful papayas. They are so sweet, and the papayas in Asia are non-GMO, and they are perfect. So then I'm gonna take you into our little fruit cupboard, is I guess what we're gonna call it. Um, so this cupboard here, we have besides the pressure cooker and the rice, <laughs> we have a lot of fruits. So, I tried to organize them as much as I could um, without squishing anything or wrecking anything. So, in the far back corner we have, I think, five smallish size pineapples. These here. They are getting super ripe and, and, and super aromic. I have um, five of these grapefruits here, a whole load of beautiful delicious mangoes. We have some apples that we've we've already eaten some of them. Um, we have some limes. We like to juice these in our water. We have a lot of cherry baby tomatoes. These are so so good and sweet. We have two little jackfruits in the back there. They are still ripening. And in this here, these three mangoes, they are super, super ripe, which I need to actually freeze them today. So I'm gonna cut them up and freeze them. They'll go into nice cream. And in here, underneath this whole bucket, is these beautiful little clementines, oranges, whatever you wanna call them. They are so sweet. So that's what we have in here for now. And then, in this cupboard, we have some regular potatoes, five kilos of regular potatoes. I have a huge whole pumpkin here. This, these pumpkins here are incredible. They're so good. 
And then on the top shelf here, we just have a bunch, a bunch of um, dried stuff. So we have some red kidney beans, a couple cans that we needed quickly on the go last week, some peas, corn. Um, my hubby has these these um, noodle cake things that sometimes he eats for lunch if he's in a pinch, some oats in the back, and some mung beans. And then into our freezer. So just a few days ago, we got a whole load of frozen strawberries and frozen mulberries. So today, I'm actually going to be freezing a bunch of the Thai bananas, so they're going to go in there. And in here, I have already some frozen mango chunks. So there were a few mangoes that were really, really ripe that needed to be frozen or eaten straight away. And I wasn't ready to eat them all, so here they are. And then into the fridge. The fridge is like packed to the brim. We couldn't fit anything in here anymore if we tried. So we have to be very careful though because it is a new fridge and we don't want to wreck it for the owners here. So um, what do we have? Up here we have some ginger that that gets into ginger water or juice. Some baby greens, a huge, huge six kilo bag of, we got of mixed greens. There's like carrots, collard greens, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, um, snow peas, really, really good veggie mix. Um, in the back here, underneath of all this, we have, I think, probably about three kilos left of Japanese sweet potatoes. My favorite, favorite potatoes in the world. They are so, so good. Um, we have some more collard greens. We have a huge, humongous bag, which you can't see, it's all stuffed to the back, of green leaf lettuce. And then in here, we have some cilantro, a big bag of cilantro. And in the bottom, some more greens. I forget which greens they were. Um, and then for like a special treat for my birthday a few weeks ago, um, when we got here, Craig bought me this super squishy, soft, sweet box of dates. So they're fresh dates, so that's why they're in the fridge. Um, we got a whole load of cucumbers here, um, a little bit leftover of pumpkin, which I'm going to probably bake tonight, some tomato paste. Um, nice big bag of grapes and we really wanted to fruit, uh, fridge the grapes because they were pretty ripe already and we didn't know how long they would last okay in the cupboard in the warmth. And here's for my hubby. He likes these um, soy type sauce things. Sometimes he puts them in his noodle soup or he has a bit with his dinner with his potatoes and his salad sort of thing. So that is it. So like I had said in the apartment tour that it's really important for us to have a fairly large size fridge and even this one it's not um, your typical huge fridge you get in the west but it's a lot bigger than the ones you get here in Thailand so um, we've stuffed it to the brim and hopefully that will be okay for us. So that is everything. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you guys liked the video, if you found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here to my channel, don't forget to subscribe because I help you guys live a healthy vegan lifestyle. And I have a lot of exciting Chiang Mai type videos coming your way for the future.